Hey guys, and you're welcome to Check My Guns. Today we're gonna look at one of the rarest semi-automatic rifles made in Czechoslovakia. And all thanks to my friend and collector here on a secret place. And we will look at this rifle. Who knows what this is, huh? It's a whole egg. Original Holek Automat, very very rare rifle and I'm super happy that I can put my hands on it and show you how it works, how it looks and a bit of a history of course. Let's check it out. So this is it. Original Holek Automat, very interesting semi-automatic rifle. But to fully understand it we need to go back in history and talk about the man who designed this rifle. His name was Emanuel Holek. He was one of three brothers. There was Václav, Emanuel and František. And all of them became like really successful gun makers. But let's talk about Emanuel. Emanuel was born in 1899 and he started his apprenticeship at the Novotny company in Prague with his brother who was already working in this company. Later on he moved uh, into Strakonice where was another a big CZ firearms company and he started his development of semi-automatic rifles there. Later on he moved to Brno firearms company called Zbrojovka Brno where he continued on uh, semi-automatic rifles and most renowned rifle is ZH29 which he came up with and starting you know, showing around the world and making innovations into ZH 32, 37, 39. Later on, when uh, Nazi Germany started their occupation of Czechoslovakia in the year 1939, he decided to quit his job in Zbrojovka Brno, in Brno Firearms Company, and start his own, um, his own shop. It was interesting that uh, some patents used on this rifle are registered under Zbrojovka Brno, under Brno Firearms Factory still. So he was definitely working on this rifle during his time in Zbrojovka. But yeah, he quit his job, started his own uh, company, started his own shop. And this is one of the best rifles he was selling there. No one really knows how many of those were made. There's only estimated number around 300. I um, was able to look through the internet and the ones I found were normally ranging the numbering between 200 and 300. Uh, it's made in 1930, not made, but proof marking says it's uh, been made around the year 1948, which is unlikely. Probably it was made during the Second World War when the production was the highest because during the year 1948 uh, the company was all over already confiscate, confiscated by Communist Party or yeah, by state so uh, the production didn't last any longer and Emanuel Holek had to uh, find a new job and he eventually uh, started working in Zbrojovka Brno in Brno Firearms Company again later on but yeah, let's go back to this rifle, to this gun, and we'll disassemble it and look at how it works. So let's take a closer look at this rifle. Here we have it. So we have basic iron sights. Here we have a gas tube with a sling swivel. We'll look at that in a second. Here we have markings, which says that fermentation markings in the year 1948. Here's a magazine, with magazine release. The original markings with sign original Holek Automat are underneath this scope mount. So you cannot really see it, which is a bit of a pity. But yeah, it looks it looks like it was made around the year of production doesn't look like a new thing on top of that and here we come to a safety feature at the back of a rifle if you look 
edit from the other side if I turn it yeah, there are no no markings on the side just here we'll look at the caliber 7x57 this rifle was also made in 8x57 and production number 270 so yeah let's let's look at it how it works so if you look how the gun works the first thing which is really really interesting is that there is no charging handle there is an ejecting port on the top of the rifle but yeah no charging handle instead of charging handle there is this sling swivel in the front on a gas tube and you just push it back which opens the bolt grabs the cartridge and puts it in a chamber which is quite a unique feature at that time uh, the sling swivel is uh, reciprocating which is unfortunate but yeah they, that's how it was back then and of course here's a safety in the back and there are no markings uh, which way it shows fire and safe so you just have to remember and there here's a free run magazine pretty easy to take out and yeah that's that's all there is to it so let's take it apart and look how it looks from inside now we can look at the disassembly of this rifle which is really really easy so I take out the magazine and now I push this pin in a back or pull depends and just slide the stock down and yeah here we have a stock with a firing uh, mechanism and the rest and here we have a receiver bolt carrier bolt gas tube and everything we'll take a look at that in a moment but now look at let's look at the way how safety works here you can see that there is this rotating thing which blocks the trigger now we can fire it but now it's possible yep so let's cock it again and look how this disassembles so what do we do now is that we slide all this which is normally here and we slide it all out even with a bolt and here we have a bolt works in a way that this is the lock position because it's a tilting bolt this locks in the top of the receiver right here and here's the firing pin in the back so when it's not locked you cannot fire it here we have a gas tube which disassembles just by rotating it and taking it out here's a gas port you can put it away and here is a, how barrel is attached to the receiver and this if we take out the bolt it put it away if we look at this bolt carrier and it's this same this assembly you just easily push this up 
and it falls apart basically. <laughs> so here's the recoil spring. And yeah, if we take it apart like that. So with a bolt and gas tube, this is all there is inside of original Holec Automat. Very easy, super, super cool gun. Yeah, and let's let's assemble it again. <laughs> So for assembly, I'll need both of my hands. So I had to put the camera on the side. And now let's put this here. Gas piston with a sling swivel. Let's put it back there. So here we have it, back together, and let's put a bolt there, slide it back in the receiver, and one thing is missing and that is gas port gas tube put it there and rotate it so we slide the receiver back with a bolt and here it is we put it back in a stock Rifle is complete again. So, this is it. Original Holek Automat. Very rare piece of Czechoslovakian firearms history. And I'm very happy that I was able to show you how awesome this rifle is. And many thanks to my friend and collector who give, gave me this opportunity to put my hands on such an amazing rifle. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, press like. And subscribe because I'll be making way more interesting videos on this kind of rifles very very unique and bit of piece of history too so take care guys and see you later